Are we going to work through these four problems now? There are two different theorems that we'll see here. So well, there's a one theorem or rule that we use for this first one, and then another one that we use for the next next group of three. In this first one, what we need to remember in triangles, the longest side is always across from the longest angle. The next longest side is across from the next largest angle. And the smallest side is across from the smallest angle. And vice versa is true. If we know the angles, we can know the sides. So what we can do here, we can just sketch a triangle. It doesn't need to look anything like we don't have to have it drawn to scale. We have triangle LMN. I kind of draw, drew it kind of equal angular looking, but it's not. And then we know angle L is 47 and angle N is 67. And we want to list the sides of the triangle in order from shortest to longest. And so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the angles. And we know that, again, the since we're going shortest to longest, we know uh, the shortest side is across from the smallest angle. And then the medium length side is across from the medium sized angle and the largest side is across from the largest angle. So that's what we're going to use. So the first thing we have to do is find what this missing angle is. Uh, we know that the three angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So what we can do here is we'll add 47 and 67 and we find that that is 114. And so we want to find angle N, so we're going to do 180 minus that 114 to see what we have left for angle N, and that gives us 66 degrees. And so we found that this is 66. And now we want to answer the question. It says list the three sides of the triangle in order from shortest to longest. And so the shortest side is going to be across from the smallest angle. So MN is the shortest side. And then next, we're going to look over here. 66 is the next largest angle, so it's going to have the next largest side. That's going to be ML. And then last, our largest angle is across from the longest side, which is LN. I also did tell you that uh, the angle's name <coughs> sorry if this is angle L across from it we would name this side L here's side M across from that we'll name it lowercase m and this is lowercase n and so if you want to name them that way your shortest side would be L and then n and then M. So either one of these answers works. The next group of questions is talking about or asking to determine if the three lengths listed could form a triangle. So what we learned here is that the two smaller sides have to add up to be bigger than the larger one. So they have to add up to be bigger than it. Otherwise, the reason is otherwise, if I'll just draw it down here, if we had, here's our longest one, and then our other two shorter sides didn't add up to be larger than that, it wouldn't even form a triangle. So that's that's kind of what we're figuring out. And so what we're going to do here, here we have 4 and 19 are our smaller ones. 4 plus 19 is 23. This comma shouldn't be here. So is 23 larger than 22? Well, yes, it is. So 4 plus 19 is 23. That is larger than the 22. So the two sides do add it to be larger than the largest side, and so yes, these lengths would form a triangle. The next one, we have one foot, two feet, and three feet. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add the one and the two. That's three feet. Is three, this three larger than the longest side? No, it's equal to the longest side. And so this cannot form a triangle. The answer is no here because the two didn't add up to be longer than the third side. And the last one, I have it in a little different order here, but we want to add the 5 and the 12. And even if you don't add them up, you would probably realize they're larger. 5 plus 12 is 17. It is larger than the longest side, 13. So yes, these lengths could form a triangle. 
And so that's the answer to those. So make sure you know the, the two theorems involved there, the one for 14, that the longest side's always across from the longest angle. Next longest is across from the next largest angle, and the smallest side is across from the smallest angle. And in this group of questions, the two smaller sides has to add up to be longer than the third side in order for it to be able to form a triangle.